We need to take in what happened on Saturday night when Iran launched a direct, unprecedented attack on Israel. What happened was miraculous. We're so used to seeing Israel intercepting rockets. But this was of an utterly new level. And we might, without knowing the details, just think, well, yeah, they did a nice job intercepting. What happened and their level of success was miraculous. And these are not my words. This is actually the words of an Oxford astrophysicist. And I want to share with you what he said, okay? Because what happened on, on Saturday night was we saw Iran joined with Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, and Yemen to launch over 100 ground-to-ground -ground missiles. Drones and ballistic miles also fired. And we saw tens of Israeli fighter jets scrambled. And they flew deep into the airspace of the Middle East, begun hunting down the missiles and drones, detonating, detonating them one after the other. And in parallel, fighter jets from America and the UK uh, also took off and began to hunt the missiles. And as they approached Israeli airspace, they were immediately taken out of Isra by Israel's defense systems, including the Hetz Arrow, and they had a 99% success rate, with the 1% causing minimal damage, injuries, and casualties. Now, let's understand the probability of what took place here. Professor of Physics at, I believe, Oxford University, Maximilian Abitzbol, an expert on the defence industry, had this to say about the events of Saturday night. He said this, and I'm quoting him, and thank you to Hillel Fold for sharing this. He said, I want to share something that is much more than a feeling, something that comes from a real ca calculation. What's happened in Israel on Saturday night was not less than the scale of the splitting of the Red Sea. I'm a professor of physics and I work for several years in the defence industry in Israel, in projects that are still the cutting edge technologies of the defence of the State of Israel. When I look at what happened on Saturday night, on a scientific level, it simply cannot happen, statistically. The likelihood that everything, but really everything, works out does not exist in complex systems. Like the defence systems that were used to defend Israel from the massive Iranian attack, these systems have never, but never, not only in the state of Israel, been tried in real time. I took a pencil and dived into the calculations to check the statistic probability that such a result would materialise. The large number of events that had to be handled when each missile or UAV is handled independently, that is, human error of, or some deviation of one operation, is not offset by other successful operations, compound the chance of making a mistake. With all the high technologies, a breach was expected in the defense of the skies of the State of Israel. Even if we got 90% protection, it would have been a miracle. What happened is that everyone, but everyone, the pilots, the system operators, and the technology operators acted as one man at one moment in total unity. If this is not an act of God, then I no longer know what a miracle is. It is greater than the victory of the Six-Day War or the War of Independence. Those wars can all be explained through natural events. I don't know if that's actually true, actually. But anyway, he says, But the rescue that took place for the people of Israel on Motzei Shabbat is simply impossible, naturally. I believe that this miracle saved the lives of many people from Israel. If the defence system had failed to intercept a number of cruise missiles, the result would have dragged us into a very complex war. I wouldn't bet that next time it will work like this without divine supervision. The simple proof of what I said is that the managers of the defence industries who develop and manufacture these systems guarantee no more than 90% success. And we all saw with our own eyes 99.9%. .9 Thank you, Hashem. You know who else I reckon saw this? I think Iran must have seen this. And unless you are choosing to be willfully blind, you cannot see, fail to see rather, the divine protection that Israel has. This almost invisible wall of divine protection over the nation state of Israel, of the Jewish people. It's said that after God brought the Jews out of Egypt, the surrounding nations and armies and tribes trembled with fear. 
No one would dare attack Israel except for Amalek because they truly were demented in their Jew hatred and it was just impossible for them to escape it, which is why they have to be, have to be wiped out. But in the case of Iran, they would have to be really desperate to try again. But I have no doubt that they are desperate. But anyway, the key takeaway from this is that the God of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. And we should all have confidence in that. And we should remember that and continue with confidence to declare our Jewishness and our Jewish beliefs confidently to the world in the calm knowledge that the God of Israel is with the Jewish people. Everybody, thanks for watching. If you want to watch another one, click here. If you want to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest JTV content, click here. And if you're feeling really keen, you can click the join button down below underneath this video where you can get perks, including early access to new videos and private live discussions with me where we can talk about JTV content and strategy moving forward. And I'll get to hear from you. Thanks again for watching.